Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. I overcomplicated the heck. I did about 10 videos here over something that was really simple. So, let's assume you went through with Bluehost for your web hosting, which I would hope you did because they're probably the easiest to use and they have the best support you can you can go with. What you're mostly interested in as you, after you log into your control panel, which they'll give you a username and password to log into your control panel, under software and services in your control panel, there's a section called simple scripts. So go ahead and select that. Simple scripts is a nice, uh, basically it's a nice feature called one click installs, or maybe it's two clicks and two click installs that allows you to install copies of WordPress extremely quick. And uh, it, it basically, it, you know, it takes all the headaches of installing your own copy and everything on it. So then you're going to scroll down to under blog section. It'll let you uh, automatically install all these, but we're going to install WordPress, so go ahead and select that, which of course is popular. And then down below it says install a brand new version of WordPress, so just click install. This is how easy this is. I'm just showing you how to install WordPress on Bluehost because you have to install this copy before importing your data from the old copy. So obviously I wanted to do install mine at the root directory. So I just did www.pcmichiana.com, and uh, if you want to install it in a subdirectory like slash my second blog slash my third blog, you can make as many blogs as you want. Um, you can have like 45 blogs under one domain, which I don't recommend. Um, but I'm just going to install it right in the root directory. Let's go ahead and select the advanced options. I can give uh, my blog a name. So obviously name it whatever you'd like. Probably want to name it the same thing you uh, uh, you named it before. Uh, and username and password, you'll probably want to use the same username and password that you did before as well. Um, actually, you definitely want to. And at the bottom, we want to automatically create a new database, which is okay. Go ahead and make sure you do that. And then step three, click I have read the terms and conditions and click complete. And that's it. In the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to import your data. So first you have to export your data from your old blog, and then you'll re-import it into your new one. Now, your themes and your plugins aren't going to import into your new blog. But uh, you can reinstall those pretty easily. I mean, just the same way you installed them before and activate them before. And um, all the customization for your themes, uh, you might have to redo. Uh, but uh, it depends on how much of it you actually played around with. And it's really not that much of a headache. Once you've done it once, it's, it's pretty easy to go back and do again. So that is all there is to this video. I wanted to show you how to do the one-click install from Bluehost. Um, and as always, leave comments and ratings and don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to export your data and import it. They're all both going to be having, happening in one video because they're pretty easy to do. So stay tuned.